Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sort of collective haul. It's actually just from two different stores, but it's from going there a couple times throughout the last week. So let's get started. Okay, and starting off with Walmart because I don't have as many things from there, I initially went to Walmart to pick up some of the new Milani line. There are two new matte blushes and then some of their new lip products that they had. Of course, my Walmart was completely sold out of everything that was new, so um, naturally I look at everything else and pick up things that I didn't even want or need. So first, starting off with this new lipstick I got from a flower line. I don't have the flower line at my local Fred Meyer, my super Fred Meyer, which is where I do a lot of my beauty shopping. So this is in the color Morning Glory, and this has got to be my new favorite nude shade. It's a perfect combination of pink and nude. It's so creamy. It honestly feels like a MAC satin finish lipstick. I have it on my lips right now. It's so pigmented. It does not make your lips look chalky or anything like that. These were only $5 at my local Walmart. But none of the other shades looked that good. I think I might still go pick some up just because this one is so promising. But I wanted to see if I had any nudes like it. Because I thought I did, but when I got home I started swatching. This is Milani's Color Statement Lipstick in Nude Cream. Which I thought was going to be really similar to it. And then I swatched it. It's totally different. So I thought Nude Cream was a nice kind of pinky nude. But putting it up to Morning Glory from Flower, it's just... Kind of like an orange apricot shade. I also wanted to put Revlon's Prim Rose because I thought, okay, maybe it's a little bit pinky, but then there's Revlon's Prim Rose right there. Still not similar. And then I was like, okay, maybe it's Sephora's Rouge Shine lipstick that I talk about all the time in 229, um, which I'll put right below it. That's probably the closest of them all. It's right here. This one again is the Flower. This is Sephora. But still, even then, this one's going to be a little bit more kind of beigey. So I'm so happy that I picked that color up. Love it. More lip products. I got another Maybelline Color Elixir. After I got this one in Petal Plush, and then I also have the one that's called Dashing Orchid or something like that. Um, I left that one at my mom's when I was visiting her last, so I don't have that on hand. But I picked up this one, which is Vision Violet, I believe. Vision and Violet, yes. It's a crazy, beautiful, um, bright purple. It looks crazy swatched, but it's actually really beautiful on the lips. Think of it as a gloss form of the Revlon and Matte Balm in Shameless. Love it. Next, for nail polish, I just wanted to get... I love the L'Oreal line in general of all their nail polishes, and I wanted to get some new nudes. But looking over the whole line, I then saw this shade, and this just screamed to me. This is such a beautiful, I don't even know how to describe this shade. I have it on my nails right now. It's just the perfect combination of pink, purple, mauve, nude, all in one. And I think it's so beautiful and delicate and girly. Another random thing. I told you guys everything I was getting was random and totally unnecessary because they didn't have what I was looking for. I don't usually pick up Physician Formula products. I feel like they're just a little bit overpriced for the drugstore. They range from like $11 to $15 usually. And I don't know. I just never feel myself gravitating over there. However, I must say Physician Formula by far has the best packaging at their drugstore. And that's exactly why I picked this up. This is a highlighter and concealer and... I was seeing pictures of this all over Instagram, and I just thought it was so beautiful. I love rose gold in little bows, and I thought it was just adorable. This is $12.99, though, which is a pretty high price point for a concealer. And to be honest with you, this was the last one they had, and I didn't even know what the shade was. I just put it in my bag because I was like, that's cute. I like the way it looks. However, I got home, and then I opened it, swatched it. It's actually a really good shade for me. Um, I use it under my eyes today, and I actually really like it. Like I said, I wasn't expecting any crazy wear out of it or to be super impressed, but I am pretty impressed. It definitely has more of a yellow undertone than a pink undertone. Moving on to accessories. These are just crazy random. I've been having a watch itch lately, and I don't know why. I don't own any watches. I never have, really. I just never was into watches. I think they just kind of get annoying on my wrist because they're so heavy feeling. Long story short, I was browsing through Walmart, and I saw these, and they're just so adorable. And you're just going to lose it when I tell you how much they were. This is what they look like. Let's see if I can kind of get the glare to stop. These were 10 bucks each. That's so crazy. And I just look at it as a new little accessory, so 
I thought I had to pick these up. They're just gorgeous. You can go with anything and last random accessories from Walmart. These were $4.88. I've been trying to get into hoops again because I kind of strayed away for a while. The hoops had just been getting stuck in my ear and like, you know how they turn sideways and they get caught in your hair and it's just all annoying? Well, these hoops are really thin. They're slender, so they're not going to be super wide where they do that. And I have the gold one in and I really like them. came with a pewter shade, the silver shade, and then the gold. I feel like for three hoops for $4.88, you can't go wrong with that either. Last couple of things from Walmart. I picked up another candle. Like you guys know, I am very sensitive to certain scents when it comes to candles. I cannot handle anything florally. This just started happening last year. Um, vanilla I've always been safe with though, so I always like to restock up on new vanilla candles. I always try different brands. I don't need any specific brand or anything. And this is the Mainstays Vanilla Easy no, Easy Peel is not part of it. Mainstay Vanilla Candle, and it was on sale for $3 for this huge jar. That's crazy. So I picked up two. I have one burning back here, and then this one I have to keep out in my living room. But, yeah, it has a really strong scent of vanilla, too, which I like. I hate when you get those candles that don't really have a strong scent, and they're just pointless. This is a Track Tree Lamp. I got it again at Walmart. This uh, retails for $24, so that's really good. I already do have one of them, and then I have another tree standing lamp as well. So now I have kind of like a three-point lighting system going on, and my lighting is still struggling. But I feel like for 24 bucks, that's a really good deal. And it comes with everything you need, really easy to put together. And yeah, the light bulbs that I use, in case you're wondering if you're using them for videos, I use the daylight bulbs. I got mine at Costco. I have actually a whole video on lighting and everything like that that I'll link down below. They give you the most sufficient daylight lighting that you can get without using the natural light. So again, I'll link that down below if you're interested. And actually, before TJ Maxx, I want to jump into a couple things that I received from First Aid Beauty. I wasn't required to do a video review on these or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm trying these out in case you want an upcoming video about them. They are the Skin Rescue line from First Aid Beauty. I know you can purchase this from Sephora as well as on their website. And I was able to get the Skin Rescue Purifying Mask, the Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser, and then the Blemish Patrol Pads. These are all made with red clay, and they're all made to minimize pores, control oil, they're supposed to be mattifying, and they are safe for sensitive skin. If you're interested, this is actually my second night using them, so I don't have a full review or any crazy impression so far. My skin's doing pretty well though right now, so I'm going to plan to use this for another week or two straight every single night, and then you guys will see too what my skin's looking like. And um, yeah, let me know if you want a review on these after a little while, and I'd be happy to do one. Okay, now moving on to TJ Maxx. I've gone to TJ Maxx a couple of times this past week. The first couple of times was to get some new makeup organizers, like this one right here. Um, they have that now at TJ Maxx, which is pretty cool, for about $7.99 to $12.99. I also picked up one to store my, some of my palettes. Definitely does not store all of them, but it stores a decent amount, and it's all acrylic, which I really like. This little guy was only $7.00. And then I went back today to look at the clothes. So the first thing I got was actually this shirt right here. My boyfriend has nicknamed this shirt as well as another shirt as grandma shirts, which is pretty awesome. I don't think it looks like a grandma shirt. She'd be styling if she's a grandma. But I really like it. It's kind of like a coral pink, and I think it's really pretty. It has a nice kind of crochet pattern on it that is see-through, so I like to wear a cami under it as well. I was kind of trying to get ready for spring. So this little guy was... Retailed for $9.99, originally $44. thing that I got that I just found out, I got my little hand swatches on, so that's always fun. This was retailed for $18. I got it for $12.99. It's the perfect combination of blue and green in one. I think it's just absolutely stunning. And it's just a chiffon material, just a kind of everyday kind of blouse, which I like. This is the other shirt that my boyfriend decided to tell me looked like a grandma shirt. Yup. Next, I picked up some undies, which I don't really like to show on camera. They are the Jessica Simpson line, though, so I'm just letting you guys know. They retail for $1.99, and they have some crazy, like, neon colors. So, got those in there. Picked up another pair of leggings. These are not your everyday kind of leggings. These are more the kind that you wear under a dress, like a shirt dress, or um, with a long shirt, something like that. And it was only $5.99 for these. They're just kind of like that spandex material, and they have that nice large waistband, which helps slim down the waist, which we all love. 
Next, I picked up this navy blue shirt. This was $18, but I got it for $12.99. It's from Love on a Hanger. That's the brand. It's kind of like a see-through, again, soft cotton material with um, some lace detailing and see-through down the middle. It's just very lightweight, so I think it'll be perfect for the transition from now into spring as well. Next, I got a shirt that I just thought looked perfect to lounge in. This is only $14.99 compared to $22. And this is what it looks like. It's just a kind of off-the-shoulder gray, um, kind of like a high-low deal going on. It says love on it. It's very soft and fairly lightweight as well. I just thought it's perfect to lounge in. Also picked up two bras from there that I don't usually like to show on camera as well. But... I don't know, I feel like they were really inexpensive. One was $9.99, one was $5.99, and they're kind of cute. So they look like, I like this one a lot because it has that racer back, so it's perfect for those racer back tank tops or dresses, because it's already done for you, you don't have to do the straps yourself. And then the other one is just a typical white cotton bra. Alright, so that is it for my haul, just kind of random stuff here and there, but let me know if you guys have any questions down below, and also any video requests that you have for future videos. Please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all of my videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!